Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In today's Ascend Combat Framework tutorial, we're going to be going over Ragdoll. So in order for your Ragdoll to work, the first thing we want to do is modify the physics asset of your skeletal mesh. So I'm going to go over to my ACF Ultimate Player, and this works with the full sample, so don't worry if you have that. And I'm going to go over to my SK Mannequin. And now you, when you open your physics asset, you want to select your root. And if you don't see the root bone of your character, you're just going to click on this cog wheel up here and select show all bones and the root should show up. And now we're going to add a sphere shape to our root just by right clicking and add a shape, which is going to be a sphere. And then we need to add a constraint from the root to the pelvis. So in order to add a constraint, we're going to right click on this root sphere and select constraints and we're going to select pelvis. And then we're going to select the newly created constraint and set all three angular limits to free. So I'm just going to do free for the swing one, swing two, and twist motion and hit control save. And now we'll go back up here, click on the root and set the physics type to, to kinematic. So over here, you'll see physics type in the details path and change it to kinematic and hit control save. So now I'll go back to my ACF ultimate character and look for a ragdoll setting so we can test the ragdoll on hit. And another thing I want to do is to test the ragdoll on hit is just go over to my ACF statistics component and look for the ARS tab, open up the attributes, open up default attribute, open up statistics and set my equilibrium to something like zero just to tell, just to test out my ragdoll on hit. So I'm just going to drag in a ACF melee enemy, or in this case, I'll use defender and just drag it here and have him try to attack me. So now you see when he hits me, I ragdoll and I get up just like that. So he's hitting me and every time I fall right now, I have to get up. But now let's see what happens if I set my equilibrium to something like 60. So I'm going to set this to 60 and I'm going to get rid of this regen value. And this is just so that the amount of damage he does to me will depend on how many hits it's going to take him to, to knock me down. So now you're going to see that since I set it to 60, he's going to hit me once and I'm not going to knock down. So there's one hit, there's two hit, and I'm pushing back a little. Three hit, and, 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 there we go. Took like six or seven hits. So now let me try it on this model. You piece of, yeah, ragdoll this. <clears throat> so I'll set it to something a little lower just so we can see it. So if I wanted to ragdoll on, let's say, every, every fourth hit in this case, I would just want to set the equilibrium type to something like 40. So now when I get hit, every four times on the fourth hit i'm gonna be i'm gonna just ragdoll or get knocked down and let's say you wanted my character to be pushed pretty far whenever he gets hit so in order to change that i would just go over to my acf ultimate player and go to my actions component and now i'm going to open up that acf player actions and double click to open this up and i'm going to look for something called actions dot hit so right here on hit i'm going to open up this action open up acf and open up warp so down here under action config, I'm going to open up warp info. There's a under warp, there's a hit warp distance. So I'm going to set this to something like, let's try 1000 for now. And for the warp start time and end time, I'll just leave this at zero to one. Basically, it's going to say it's going to take one second for the on hit to make me travel a 1000 distance. So if I were to actually, let me, let me set this to something like 0.1, just so you can see an example. So now when I hit play and when this guy hits me, I'm going to move back really quickly, just like that. So when he hits me, I kind of teleport backwards. And this probably is really useful for something like a fighting, maybe like something like Dragon Dragon Ball Z type fighting and so on. And this can really affect how, how much you get knocked back and how quickly you get knocked back. So now I'm going to head back to my ACF ultimate player character and under the components tab on the left, you're going to see this ACF ragdoll component. And by default, it's going to be set to 850 and a default ragdoll duration and so on. And you can test ragdolls on hit, make sure it's kinematic and test the pelvis bone of where the ragdoll will basically where the weight will revolve around. And you can also have get up front animations. So like this. And it also comes with a get up back animation or a montage. And you can kind of change this to whatever you want simply by creating an end montage and just setting it here. And so for example, if I just set this to something like 700, it might be a little too low, but if we go ahead and just try this out and have this character hit me, you're gonna see my character just ragdolls and is kind of stuck for the full duration of that five seconds. And if I were to set the resistance to something like a thousand, not sure if I'll ragdoll actually. So I'll just get knocked down but a lot less on the ragdoll scale. 
And you can also hit B on your keyboard in order to just test the ragdoll. And yeah, that's a pretty quick overview on how to play with the ragdoll effects using Ascend Combat Framework. Thanks for watching Code with Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.